A $2.2 billion development effort is underway in Colombia, and officials say that a public financing tool called a TIF is key to making it happen. TIF stands for Tax Increment Financing. It's a tool that uses public funding to fund infrastructure necessary for a development project to happen. The county borrows funds up front with the hopes that future increases in property values will be enough to upgrade public infrastructure to support the development. Howard Hughes has requested $170 million to make that happen, but the county says that only $127 million is actually affordable. A TIF is not a tax. It rests on the idea that private and public investment in a development project will increase property tax revenues, which will be used to pay off debt and cover other costs. Say my baseline property value is $200,000. The development project over 30 years will hopefully increase that to 300000 That difference, called the increment, will create property tax revenue that can be used to pay off debt and cover other costs. The Middleman administration is requesting $127 million over 30 years. Bonds would go out in three phases. If passed by the council, $90 million would go toward the Crescent District. Two other phases would cover the Lakefront Core, and Symphony Overlook. The funds would cover stormwater improvements, water and sewer improvements, a garage, and some intersection roadway improvements that are seen in black. The TIF itself does not pay for the school and a new library and other capital projects. The county does hope that based on projections, the overall development effort will make those capital projects possible. The county's consulting firm estimates over $400 million in net revenue over the next 30 years. But as in most financing deals, the question remains, would this development happen without a TIF? The county says it's highly unlikely. These deals aren't without risk. So how will the county be covered? How will the bond sales work? And how accurate are the projections about the overall development effort? And what will the profit-sharing agreement between Howard Hughes and the county look like? These are all questions Howard County government officials will continue to address over the next couple of weeks.